went to bed like at 1.30. Dang, that's how you know I slept good last night. What happened here? Every night I turn my AC on to 63 because when I sleep, I literally, my back sweats. So I'm gonna turn my heat back on. 66. I'm actually gonna hit a gym session this morning. I'm gonna read real quick because you know, one thing about me, if I don't read in the morning, I ain't gonna read it all. I will put that sucker off. Not sucker, but I shouldn't say that about the word. This morning I am serving at church, so uh, I gotta be there early. So we gotta, we gotta put this. I gotta shut up right now. So also, guys, look what I did to my Bible. I ripped it. It's a wee bit chilly in here, isn't it? Well, you want to hear a good word? It's when Jesus is talking about the Pharisee and the tax collector. They both went up to the temple to pray. Right? The Pharisee was like, "God, don't make me nothing like them, them sinners." Okay. The Pharisee looked at the tax collector and was like, "Especially that guy, because you know the tax collectors, you know, had a bad rep back in the day." Well, the tax collector, okay accorded to the word of god he looked up at god and said god have mercy on me a sinner and the pharisees over here acting all holier than thou because he fasts twice a week which is crazy and guess what jesus says luke 18 14. Okay. i tell you that this man the tax collector rather than the other went home justified before god for all those who exalt themselves will be humbled period and all those who humble themselves will be exalted. That's a word. Oh, period. Jesus just told him. It was short, sweet. I literally did this in like five minutes. Pre-workout. It says 333 milligrams of caffeine. Hmm. It's like a very potent lemonade. It's so good. It's 7.30. I'm going to be at the gym by 7.45 and work out for like half an hour, 45 minutes. And I got to go pick someone up for church. But they live 30 minutes away, so we got out. Game time. Some shirt. Go with some shorts. We did green. So we just do black. Very basic. Here is the fit. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Oh, ain't nobody here. Oops. Some straight from here, I gotta go pick up somebody from church. Or straight from here, ah! Straight from the gym, I need to go pick up somebody for church. Um, do I want to drive 30 minutes and then 30 minutes back? No. Really, I don't. But. They ain't got a car, so we got them. Uh -uh. By the way, I got these new AirPods, Air Pros. What the frick? I don't know what they're called, but I had like the ones from like years ago, like the first one with like the long stem. And when I went to Passion, my friends were loud. So for me to go to sleep, I was listening to like brown noise and ASMR. And I left them in the bed, but I have the case. So I had to order these. These suck. It's not really the sound. The sound sounds just the same as the ones before, but like it won't stick in my ear because the other ones are smaller. Anyways, first world problems, am I right? All right, we gotta go. Oh, Typically, I would go shower in the morning, but it's 
just don't really have the time. Especially when I'm serving, I have to get there like pretty early. I'm gonna put my hair back with my little band thing. If you guys can't tell, I got a new camera, glory to God. Um, like I said today, I'm serving at church. Basically all I do, I greet people and I, we have these sermon notes and I hand them to them. I highly recommend getting involved in church and serving if you've never served. It's very, like there's a lot of joy in it. And I'm not kidding, like I've been going to this church for like, I don't even know, like over four years, almost five years. And I didn't start serving until 2023, like in the middle of the summer, I think. I was like, you know what? I need to start doing something. It's crazy because back in the day I used to do like a lot of makeup, pretty intense makeup, like 2016. And I didn't even wear makeup until I was like 18 years old. But that's color corrector. That's the L'Oreal color corrector. The Smashbox. I do like a dab. I'm pretty sure like that much. I've noticed the more concealer I wear, it gets like very clumpy. But anyways, back to the serving. What I really love about serving is that someone, it could be someone's first time ever entering church, right? It, ever entering a church building. I love to just introduce myself and you know, welcome them in and make them feel, you know, part of the family. But you never know, like when you're serving someone and they walk through the door, like that could be their first time. And you're their first like, you know, if they're in, they're starting to question their faith, starting to question like, oh, is there a God? Like, let me go to church. Um, you could be one of the people that God uses to plant a seed in that person's heart just by being kind and introducing them and helping them find a seat, you know? So that's something I really enjoy because I've had people, like there was this one lady that walked in and I was getting ready to go sit down because it was already like 10 minutes past service. Like um, it started and this girl was like, kind of like nervous she was like looking around and everything and I thought oh she's never been here before I was like oh are you new and I introduced myself and then I was like would you like to sit with me and I know you know God had me stay there for a couple minutes longer because he said one of my children are coming over eyeshadow I'm gonna do and use this color I really do enjoy serving I don't know if you guys ever heard of them but they sent me a little box of cute goodies and this little pencil eyeliner and I've been loving the pencil eyeliner because um sometimes I don't want like a dark dramatic look so this is just perfect see it's not too dramatic it gives it a nice little spice okay that's as good as it's gonna get okay we're doing that but I soften it up with like this little we're gonna add some mascara it's the lash paradise from l'oreal Listen, blush just makes a whole look. You can never have enough blush on. Here is the fit. My bra is kind of like bent up so you can kind of like see the outline. But anyways, we're gonna go with this necklace from like Team U or something. My hair is probably gonna go in like a little clip. We'll sit down like this, like this. Oh, that's cute. Okay, we're gonna do that. Going in with Burberry. Put it, oops, that stained my clothes a little bit here. I think we're just gonna do a basic white card again. Pretty sure people can see me in my window right there. Shoes. Where the OOTD is from. Um, uh, Amazon, Amazon, Nike, my dad, my mom, my husband. Jesus. These are the church notes. These are Say hi for the YouTube vlog. I just got back home from church and I had to change into some comfy clothes, but also kind of cute clothes because I'm gonna go out for some pizza in a bit. And church was great, guys. Like, we talked about serving people and how, you know, we're not called to live a selfish life, we're called to be servants. And when Jesus came here, he didn't come here just to be served, but to be a servant. And, you know, 
it's a reality check for a lot of us. What is, what's the purpose of us walking around on this earth just to be glorified and our name glorified? No, it's not it. We're to glorify God. And by doing that, you're serving other people. You're serving people who need to be served. If we all walk around serving others, the place will be a lot better. But we live in such a culture where do what's best for you, do what makes you happy, rather than do what glorifies the Lord, you know? Just kidding. I changed into this. It's this cute little oversized tee, Faith Over Fear. I try to do the whole snatch cute look. It just, not for me today, okay? That after church nap, and now we're gonna go have our after church feast. We're going to a place called Barnaby's. It has like the best crust on the pizza. Yeah, look at that pizza. It looks good. So it's not Sunday anymore, it's Wednesday because I got food poisoning Sunday night and I was down, okay? It was a hot mess. In that time, I did nothing but watch TV and suffer. Also, I went to the grocery store. I went to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna do a little grocery haul, if you care. Sourdough bread, just a bunch of greens, pasteurized eggs, oranges, buttermilk ranch dressing. I do like this dressing, it tastes really good. Oh. Chicken breast, these cheddar chicken sausage. Also, I want to show you guys a couple little packages I received in the mail. So, none of these are sponsored. This person reached out to me on Instagram and they wanted to send me a spiral Bible. So I was like, um, of course. So she sent me the New Testament spiral Bible and it's for note takers. Personally, I don't write in my Bible. I just don't like the look of it. It's not like a sin to write in your Bible. But I personally don't because I don't, if I wanted to write, I'm gonna write in a notebook, so this is perfect. And when you open it up, obviously the word of God, and then it has like the little note side. And then you can take notes here on the side. I love this, it's so cute. I'll definitely link their Instagram and where you can buy their stuff at. This is from Bond and Seek. They are like a Christian clothing company and this isn't sponsored either. They sent me stuff last time, but their stuff is too cute to not share. One thing I love about Bond and Seek is that their packaging is super cute. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is perfect for spring. Look at this. The lion, the lamb. Look how cute this is, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for summer. These little shorts that go with it. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, my Lanta. Chocolate brown, I think. Guys, this material is so soft. It's like a cloud. Cast all your anxieties on him. And then this right here says worship, don't worry. Sweatpants, oh my gosh. These are so cute. Has two little pockets in the back. And you already know that material is gonna feel so nice. I love this, these are so cute, thank you. But like I said, it's not Sunday anymore, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really love doing more vlog style content now that I have my new camera. Thanks be to God, all glory to God. Um, yeah, that's basically it for today's video. I haven't read my Bible in a couple days. Um, you know, I've been talking to God and all that stuff, but I haven't read my Bible, so I need to get on that. I'm actually gonna go do a prayer walk right now it's pretty nice where I live. It's nice that we actually have the sunshine. Like, there's literally sunshine outside. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Anyways, bye!